Hi, um, okay, I'm linking up with week two of Shasta and Megan's um, Q&A. Um, ignore my appearance. I need a haircut and push-ups really bad. Okay, um, question one, favorite place you've traveled? Um, I really, really loved Chicago. I only went once. I adored it. I cannot wait to go back. Um, I really love cities, and I just love um, all the energy there. Um, it's just beautiful. Aside from that, I really love Orange Beach in Alabama. It's my favorite beach. It has a lot of sentimental meaning for me. It's close enough to home, but far enough away that I can escape. And it's just beautiful. If you've never been, I highly recommend it. It's um, really underrated. Um, question two, where would you want to go if you could have a paid ticket and hotel anywhere in the Caribbean at this moment? I just really need to go lie on the beach um, where it's nice and um, warm and quiet. If you have a trip planned, where is it to? Well, I don't really have anything planned. Um, my best friend Nicole and I have an annual beach trip to Orange Beach um, in March of every year, or we're supposed to. But it's not going to happen in March this year, um, so we have tentative plans to do it some other time this year. Um, were you an honor roll student in school? In high school, of course. Um, I pretty much got like two B's ever in high school. Um, I, I would have been mortified and completely disgusted with myself if I had anything less. Uh, that's not even a joke. Um, big nerd here. College? Not really. Um, oh, well, okay, not at all, let's be honest here. Um, I goofed off in college, and, um, yeah, that's all that needs to be said about that. Let's just say I got, um, my first failing grade, um, and it didn't stop at one. Okay, so, moving on, what was your major in college? Well, funny you should ask, I had several. I started out as an English major with the intention to teach high school English, then I moved to broadcast journalism after, um, not even a whole semester, I don't think. Then I said, oh, I'm so silly. I want to be a teacher. And I moved back to English. And then I said, well, that's ridiculous. Obviously, I want to major in fashion merchandising. And I did that. Um, I'll have you know, all this happened in two years' time, too. I still have a degree. And nothing has changed. I still change my mind about what I want to be when I grow up. And I change it daily. Ever go to camp? Uh, no. You know me, you know I hate the outdoors, unless it's a beach or um, I'm having drinks on the patio. I do not like bunk beds. Um, I'm not a cabin person. I don't do forced arts and crafts. Um, I don't play team sports. Yeah, no camp for me. Favorite TV show of all time, Party of Five or Dawson's Creek. Oh, I know, like, not the best shows in the world. <laughs> I loved them. Um, Party of Five, I cried so many big, fat, like, enormous tears when it went off the air. Um, Dawson's Creek pretty much did the same thing. Um, my friend Kristen and I had um, a party in college where we watched it in my dorm room every Wednesday night when it came on. And we would just get up there and we bought those big gallon buckets, well, not gallon, five-pound buckets of chocolate chip cookie dough. And we sat with our spoons and we watched Dawson's Creek. Um, yeah, good times. What was the last thing you ever got grounded for? Um, I was such an angel. I really was. And I don't mean that to be sarcastic. I was really well behaved. I didn't smoke. I didn't drink. I didn't do any drugs. I didn't go to parties. Um, some might call me boring. Um, I pretty much spent all my time with my boyfriend. And I was home every night. My mom always knew where I was. I never had to sneak around. But one time I ever got grounded was, I was really young. I don't know how old I was, but I wasn't a teenager yet. And I called the New Kids on the Block um, 900 number. It was this hotline where you could listen to all their voices. Um, I called it about 30 times. You can imagine the phone bill. It was like several hundred dollars. So um, my mom took away the phone in my room and... Um, that was like the worst punishment you could ever give me because I adored my phone. What was your childhood nickname? I didn't really have one except people called me Rhonda Gale, like one word, because that's kind of how it was meant to be. I'm a Southern girl after all. Instead of Rhonda Gale, it was Rhonda Gale. 
and um, my uncle married a woman named Rhonda um, when I was a kid, and they started calling me Little Rhonda. Um, luckily, they dropped the Little Rhonda, and now they just do Rhonda Gale to distinguish us from another. Um, and what would your dream job be? Country singer. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Too bad I can't sing at all, but I would just... I just can't even imagine, like, I daydream all the time of all the fantastic duets I would do and all the things I would wear, my sparkly microphone. Yeah, I keep dreaming. Um, otherwise, <coughs> I've always wanted to own my own business, and as everything else in my life, there's a million different businesses I would want to own, but the number one that has always stood out to me my whole life is to have my own salon. I have sketchbooks. Um, magazine clippings, digital files, millions of things saved for ideas for my salon. And I intend to make that dream come true. All right, I hope you guys do the video. I can't wait to go check out all your links. I know I'm a little late. Good night.